I guess when I think about it, all throughout this time, I was placing a lot of importance in my hair. I didn't really care, you know, like, you know, I'm a very low maintenance person, so I didn't really care, like, if I had the best clothes or if, you know, whatever, if I wore makeup, like, that didn't bother me. As long as my hair looked good, I was good to go. Hey guys, it's Gloria, and this video is about why I decided to transition to my natural hair. Uh, and yeah, well, before we start, I just know that my hair is looking kind of crazy. I put it in these micro braids because I was gonna um, like mini braid my whole hair, and then I was like, oh no, girl, that's gonna take way too long. So I kept these in, um, and then I just you know, I've been doing, I'm gonna put this into a style later. But I normally write things down because I'm a rambler and if I don't write things down, I'm a ramble. But um, I didn't really, I have my points together so I'm gonna try and keep this as short and simple and to the point as possible. I wanted to make this video for a couple of reasons. One is because I wanted to track my hair journey. Um, I think it's really important to document uh, where you are with your hair journey so you can look back on it and see how far you've come. So. Um, that's one reason. Another reason is because um, I feel like there's not a lot of videos about transitioning from people who are actually transitioning currently. So there's a lot of videos about people who have transitioned and their hair is already curly, it looks bomb, and I'm like, I cannot relate. <laughs> so anyway, let's stop rambling and jump right into why I decided to transition to my natural hair. So I think the best place to start with my hair journey is when I was born actually because it's kind of a funny story that basically segues into this whole kind of relationship that I have with my hair. So when I was born, I was actually a twin. So when my sister and I were born, we were born bald without any hair. Um, and we didn't have hair for a very long time. So my mom, basically she tells us the story over and over and over again about how she prayed over my sister and I's hair so that we would have hair because she didn't want her little girls to grow up without having hair. So I've grown up hearing this story over and over and over again about how my mom and my grandma and everyone was praying over me and my sister's hair. Um, so there was always kind of a significance in our hair. Was, you know, it wasn't just seen as just hair. Our hair was kind of a blessing that God blessed us with because, you know, when we were little, we didn't have any. So basically when our hair finally did start growing, we had a lot of it and with there being two of us, it was a lot for my mom to do. Um, and we would get our hair uh, hot comb to straighten it. So we didn't have like, I don't really remember my hair texture when I was little. I don't, my mom always said it wasn't that, you know, like unmanageable. It's just, you know, we had a lot of hair. Getting our hair hot combed was always an ordeal, but to be honest, I preferred it that way when our hair wasn't hot combed, it would just shrink up and be super short and I didn't like that. We would straighten it with a flat, with a cut, I keep saying flat iron, but those did not exist back then. We would straighten it with a hot comb and uh, my mom got tired of hot combing our hair because she was always looking at our necks and she's just like, I cannot handle this anymore. So moving forward, we stopped doing hot combed and we finally went to a salon and we, I've been going to that same salon since, since then. I was probably like 11, maybe younger when I started getting my hair done there. Um, so I'm 27 now, so that's a really long time that we were going to the salon. And there we would basically get our hair washed, uh, blown out, flat ironed, and curled. <laughs> and we would do that probably about every two weeks or so. And that's basically been my hair routine for the last 20 something years. Now, in between that time, I'm not sure how old I was. I think I was somewhere in maybe middle school, probably when we started getting relaxers. We did relaxers for a long time, but I couldn't really tell you like how long. It's been a long time since I've had relaxers. Probably maybe in, uh, I want to say early high school. If not even, it was probably sometime still in middle school when we stopped doing relaxers. It was whenever the like keratin treatments started becoming popular because eventually we stopped doing relaxers and switched to keratin treatments. And actually keratin treatments worked really great for my hair. Both with relaxer and with keratin, my hair was growing very long. Um, so I never really was thinking like, oh, this is not good for my hair because my hair has always been pretty long and healthy. With relaxers though, you can definitely tell, like our, my scalp was always getting burned, it was always flaky, and relaxers just, at some point my hairstylist and we all just kind of consecutively decided like we're not gonna do relaxers anymore. It's just not good for our scalp. So honestly, I never really thought very deep about like, you know, whether this was good for my hair or not because honestly my hair was in great shape and I liked the way it looked long and straight. I guess when I think about it, all throughout this time, I was placing a lot of importance in my hair. I didn't really care, you know, like, 
you know, I'm a very low maintenance person, so I didn't really care like if I had the best clothes or if, you know, whatever, if I wore makeup, like that didn't bother me. As long as my hair looked good, I was good to go. And partially because my hair was always a topic of conversation. Like I said, our hair was very long and people were like, oh, why do you have such long hair? What do you do to your hair? Like every single time <clears throat> we met someone or we like, you know, talk with family, like our hair was always a like topic of conversation. And yeah, I, I liked, you know, people complimenting on my, complimenting me on my hair. You know, that's, you know, who wouldn't want compliments on their hair, it's, it's nice. But you know, this is what I would hear all the time. So I started valuing my hair a lot more than I really should have because that's kind of what it seemed like people liked about me. <laughs> I'm sure people liked me for other reasons, but I'm just saying that that was always like, you know, a conversation started that was always a part of the, the, the talk, you know, like that's always a part of what people would talk about. Oh my gosh, your hair. Um, people would say like, oh, you know, are you mixed? Cause you know, I've never seen a black person with long hair before. I like, people would actually say this, people had, and still say this to this day to me, you know, like, oh, like, oh, I thought you were, you know, such and such, or are you this, you know, such and such, because, you know, I've never seen black girls with long hair before. I'm just like, what? So hopefully you guys can see basically the relationship I've had with my hair over the years. I've always loved my hair. I've always placed a lot of value in my hair. My hair has grown very long, and it's just been a big part of me, to be honest. And I know that sounds very shallow, but it's true. My hair has always been a very big part of who I am. So I feel like you guys kind of get the point, and I'm just going to fast forward to present time as to um, when I started thinking about making a major change, such as transitioning for my hair. Hey guys, I'm editing this video, and I'm realizing that my computer is totally about to run out of space, so I'm gonna go ahead and split this video up into two parts. So thank you so much for watching part one, and just click the link, and you can go ahead and watch part two, to and you can continue hearing about my transitioning journey, and I will see you guys there. I thought, are people gonna like me with my natural hair? You know, like, are they gonna like me? Like, like wear my hair curly? Like, I know that sounds ridiculous, you guys, but like, it's still, like, I still think like that. 